In the night sky, just above the horizon, a giant red star glows with an intense light. This star is called Betelgeuse, and it lives in the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse is one of the most massive stars that astronomers have ever observed. Its size and behavior continue to amaze scientists around the world. To understand how huge Betelgeuse is, consider this. If we replaced our sun with Betelgeuse, its glowing outer layer would stretch far beyond Jupiter. That means it would completely swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, turning the inner part of our solar system into a fiery storm of gases and plasma. From space, very few stars reach such enormous size. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, and it's in one of the final stages of its life. Scientists believe it is very close to exploding in a massive supernova. If that happens, the explosion could be visible even in the daytime sky. Such an event would not be just another astronomical occurrence. It would be a rare cosmic event that could change what we know about the life and death of stars. Supernovas are rare in our part of the galaxy, and seeing one this close would be a once-in-a-lifetime event. Betelgeuse stands out in the night sky like a bright red gem. Its light flickers, dims, and brightens, creating a kind of cosmic heartbeat. This change in brightness is one of the reasons people have been fascinated by it for generations. Recently, Betelgeuse gained even more attention due to an unusual event called the Great Dimming. In late 2019 and early 2020, its brightness dropped dramatically. Some people thought it was about to explode. Scientists all over the world focused their telescopes, on Earth and in space, on Betelgeuse, trying to understand what was happening. Astronomers now believe the dimming was likely caused by a massive cloud of dust that Betelgeuse expelled, temporarily blocking its light. Still, the event reminded us just how unpredictable and powerful this star is. Betelgeuse is about 764 times larger than our Sun. That's not a typo, 764 times. Its outer layer is so spread out that the numbers almost don't make sense. Even without a telescope, you can see its reddish glow from Earth. That glow tells us the star is cooler than stars like the Sun. The star has been burning hydrogen for millions of years, creating energy through nuclear fusion. But that hydrogen is now almost gone. As the fuel runs out, gravity starts to win, pulling the star's core inward. At the same time, the outer layers expand even more, making Betelgeuse grow into an enormous, glowing balloon. This expansion is both beautiful and haunting. It's like watching a star take its final breaths. If you placed Betelgeuse in our solar system, its radius would pass Mars in one fiery sweep. Imagine our solar system lit up with its burning clouds, every planet up to Mars would vanish inside. But the size of Betelgeuse isn't the most exciting part. What fascinates scientists the most is what might happen next. The star is unstable and could explode at any moment, tomorrow, next year, or even 100,000 years from now. That mystery keeps astronomers watching closely. They observe each flicker, each shift in light, using powerful instruments. Even a tiny change could be the first sign of collapse. Scientists around the world track its movement, brightness, and temperature daily. Long ago, Betelgeuse was a blue giant, extremely hot and bright. Over millions of years, it burned through its fuel and cooled, becoming the red giant we see now. Inside, nuclear fusion changed hydrogen into helium, releasing energy that made the star shine. When the hydrogen ran low, gravity pulled the star's core inward. This is when it entered the red supergiant phase, its final stage. The reddish color we see today means it's cooler than other stars, but still unimaginably hot. Betelgeuse doesn't shine with a steady light. It's a variable star, meaning its brightness changes. Sometimes it dims for weeks or months, and then it brightens again. These changes are important, they show that something dynamic is happening inside the star. During the Great Dimming, scientists from NASA, ESA, and many universities turned their attention to Betelgeuse. Dr. Andrea Dupree from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics said, we've never seen anything like this. The star is behaving in ways we never expected.
Another expert, Dr. Miguel Montarges, explained that their studies suggested the dimming came from a giant dust cloud, likely formed when Betelgeuse ejected part of its atmosphere. We're watching history unfold, he said. When Betelgeuse finally explodes, the supernova will outshine every star in the sky. It might even be visible during the day for weeks. Some scientists say it could be as bright as a full moon, even casting shadows on Earth at night. A supernova isn't just a light show, it releases neutrinos, gamma rays, and other particles that travel across the galaxy. By studying them, we can learn about how stars die, and possibly how new stars and planets are born. Betelgeuse is about 640 light years away, so Earth is safe. Even when it explodes, the radiation won't harm us. Instead, it will give us a front row seat to a celestial show billions of years in the making. Astronomers are especially interested in what will be left after the explosion. Betelgeuse might turn into a neutron star, an object so dense that a teaspoon of its material would weigh as much as a mountain. If the collapse is even more extreme, it could become a black hole, pulling everything, including light, into its center. We may see gravitational waves, light, and neutrinos from the explosion. They are massive, and sometimes look like butterflies, bubbles, or eyes. For now, Betelgeuse still shines from Orion's shoulder, especially visible during winter nights in the Northern Hemisphere. When you look up and spot that red dot, remember, you're looking at a ticking celestial clock. No one knows when it will go off, but when it does, it will be unforgettable. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.